this lesson, Constructing Nets for Three-Dimensional Objects, we'll begin by providing you with a definition of a net, give you a couple of examples where you must draw the net from a three-dimensional object, and then give you the net and you come up with a three-dimensional object. A net is a two-dimensional pattern that can be folded into a three-dimensional shape or object. It is kind of like a model. In our first couple examples, we'll begin by unfolding a three-dimensional shape into a two-dimensional net. In example one, we'll draw a net for the cube. We will generalize our procedures so we can come up with a set of steps that will work for finding the net of any three-dimensional object. You always want to determine how many two-dimensional surfaces are on your three-dimensional object. We have the front and back, the top and bottom, the right and left side. So there are six two-dimensional surfaces. Next, we need to determine the shape of our two-dimensional surfaces. For a cube, each surface is a square. Next, we will imagine unfolding our three-dimensional object and drawing each two-dimensional side. We'll begin with the right, top, left, bottom, front, and back of our cube. There we have our two-dimensional net for our cube. In our second example, we'll draw a net for a cylinder. A cylinder has a top and bottom and a side. The top and bottom are both circles. The side, we would have to unroll it and it would produce the shape of a rectangle. So our net for a cylinder would be a rectangle with the bottom circle and the top circle. What would the length of the rectangle be with respect to the circle? It's a circumference, which would be 2 times pi times the radius. Now we will provide you with the net and have you come up with the three-dimensional objects. This particular net is called a triangular base prism. We know this because a prism has two bases, and in this case, they're both in the shape of triangles. A prism also has rectangular sides. To produce the three-dimensional object for this particular net, you'll begin with the two triangular bases and then fold the rectangular sides around them. There you have your triangular based prism. What object would be produced from this particular net? This is called a rectangular base pyramid. A pyramid is a three-dimensional object with only one base. A pyramid also has triangular sides. To produce the three-dimensional object from this net, you would begin again with your base and then connect the sides to a common point. We'll try demonstrating this by drawing. We'll start with our rectangular base. We'll put in a point, then fold the triangles upward to connect with that common point. Your final three-dimensional object would look something like this. A rectangular-based pyramid.